Let's talk now organizations and how Grafana uses the organizations. To create multiple environments. So what are org organizations? Well, organization is an entity that helps you isolate users and resources such as dashboards, annotation and data sources from each other. Their purposes is to provide completely separate experience, which looks like multiple instances of Grafana within a single instance, which ends up being cheaper. User configuration settings and the licenses of the Grafana installation are going to be shared across resources such as dashboard, data sources, annotation, folders, theme and alerts are isolated within each other organization. So let's go ahead and see how we can create a new organization. First, you want to navigate to your server admin and you want to click on orgs. Once you're here, by default, you're going to have a single main org. Let's go and create a new org. So let's call this USA team, thinking that we're going to have a dashboard that's going to serve for a team that it's located in USA. Now we can change the UI team. Let's leave it as default. You can designate the home dashboard if you want so and the time zone this is important so let's say it's gonna be gonna be america in anchorage and let's save it great navigate back to the dashboard and we can see right now nothing changed we're still in the main org how do we switch between organizations so if you go to the admin server you can switch between organization you click on the switch and now we can see that we are in the current let's go and switch to if you see right now we're in the new organization and it's blank we don't have any uh, data sources if we're gonna go into it we see are empty the users are it's only the admin users we don't have any teams and the plugins are default ones in organization you can also add users that are already created in the main organization how do we go about that so you want to navigate to your server admin users and select the user you want to give it access to so click on the user and here you're going to say add user to organization. So right now this user belongs only to main org. Click on the add user. You click on the drop down, select and the role and add to organization. Now, if we're going to go to the users in our organization here, we can see that the editor user was added to our organization and we can even change the make it as an editor here or we can even make it as admin. If we navigate back to our org and we're gonna switch back to the main organization, and go to users, we can see that the editor user still keeps its editor right. So he might be an admin in the other org, but here will be just an editor. To delete an organization, you have to be switched off of the organization. So to give an example, if I'm gonna switch your organization i'm going to go to the new creator organization and here into our server i'm going to say okay i want to delete this will not be possible because so he's going to say all dashboards for this organization will be removed let's delete cannot be possible because i am currently logged in into that work so let's go now the first thing you want to do you want to switch to another organization in this case, I'll switch to the main org and go now, view my orgs, choose to delete. Be mindful, all dashboards of these organizations will be removed, including the data sources as well. So if we delete, now we can see that the organization has successfully been 